The Tale of the Hungry Bunnies, Episode One: Hungry Bunnies. Peter ate the last carrot. Then he rubbed his belly. I'm still hungry," he said. "Me too," said Cottontail and Mopsy. Mrs. Rabbit was in town. She left some vegetables for her bunnies. But now the basket was empty. Benjamin has a big garden," said Mopsy. "Let's ask him for some vegetables." The four bunnies hopped to Benjamin's garden. Said Mopsy, "Do you have any vegetables for us?" Benjamin shook his head. "I'm sorry," he said. "I just ate the last pea." The bunnies hopped home. An idea," said Peter. "Let's go to the farmer's trash pile. There's plenty of food there." Yes," yes said Cottontail and Mopsy. Flopsy shook her head. "Mother will be angry," she said. "It is not safe." Father went there. And he never came home. But we're hungry," said Mopsy and Cottontail. The two bunnies started to cry. <laughs> Peter was already hopping toward the door. Come on, Flopsy," he said. Let's go. <sighs> the Tale of the Hungry Bunnies, Episode Two: The Farmer's Trash Pile. Peter ran toward the trash pile. So did Mopsy and Cottontail. Flopsy slowly hopped after them. She was worried about the farmer. Flopsy saw lots of trash. There were bags and pots and old boots. Peter sniffed the air. I smell rotting vegetables," he said. "I see lots of flies," said Cottontail. Suddenly, the bunnies spotted something green. "Mmm!" cried Mopsy. "Lettuce!" "Peas!" cried Cottontail.
even Flopsy ate peas and lettuce. Soon, the bunnies were very full. The sun felt very warm. Three bunnies fell asleep. Flopsy was tired too. But she could not sleep. She was worried about the farmer. And mother was coming home soon. Bzzz, bzzz. Flies buzzed around Flopsy's head. Ugh. Flopsy swatted the flies. Then Flopsy spotted a paper bag. She put the bag over her head. Now the flies won't bother me. And soon we will go home. Suddenly, Flopsy heard a sound. Shh! Mrs. Tittlemouse ran toward her. You must hide, the mouse whispered. The farmer is coming. The Tale of the Hungry Bunnies Episode 3 The Farmer Comes Oh no! thought Flopsy. The farmer is coming! Mrs. Tittlemouse jumped into a pot. Flopsy hid under the paper bag. The other bunnies were still sleeping. Flopsy shook with fear. This is terrible, she thought. The farmer will get the bunnies. The farmer had a sack of grass. He dumped the grass onto the trash pile. Huh. The farmer looked down. I see. Little brown ears. The farmer bent closer to the pile. One, two, three. Three little rabbits. The farmer scooped up the bunnies. He dropped them into his sack. Yum, said the farmer. I have big plans for these rabbits. The farmer tied the sack with string. First I must put away my lawnmower. Then I'll come back. The farmer left. Oh no! Flopsy cried. She ran to the sack. Flopsy tried to rip the string from the sack. It's too tight! She cried. The farmer will take the bunnies! And they'll never come home again! The Tale of the Hungry Bunnies Episode 4 Mrs. Rabbit's Plan Mrs. Rabbit came home. Where are my bunnies? she said. Then she saw the empty basket. Mrs. Rabbit quickly hopped across the field.
she spotted Flopsy near the trash pile. Help! cried Flopsy. Mrs. Rabbit and Flopsy pulled at the string. But it was too tight. I can help, called Mrs. Tittlemouse. She nibbled the string. And the string broke. Hide your bunnies, said Mrs. Tittlemouse. The farmer will be back soon. Mrs. Rabbit smiled. I have a plan. Soon, the farmer came back for the sack. He brought it to his wife. Three rabbits, the farmer said. We can have a special treat. The farmer's wife looked in the sack. These aren't rabbits, she yelled. What? The farmer looked in the sack. Rotting vegetables! Outside, the five bunnies laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Your plan worked, Mother! said Flopsy. You tricked the farmer! said Peter. Mrs. Rabbit nodded. Come on, bunnies! It's time to go home. Yes! yes! Said three bunnies. We're, We're hungry, hungry again! again. <laughs>